cited today because he found a radioactive former student. This is just regular background radiation. Uh, radioactive. Just listen to that. What do you think's in you, Mike? There's some radioactive technetium is what they use to inject me because later today I'm going to have a uh, bone scan. I see. And uh, so I have to go back there in about half an hour so they can x-ray me and stuff. And then I guess what happens is the radioactive stuff it gets absorbed by my bones and then it shows up when they do the x-rays and like um, it's all red in the spots where I might possibly have a stress <coughs> fracture because they think I might have a stress fracture in my lower back. All right, um, we're back again here with our periodic table, and we'd just like to point out technetium right here on the periodic table. It's uh, right in between molybdenum and ruthenium. <laughs> and now we're going to take a look at this handy-dandy Geiger counter here. You can see here, yeah, that's times one off the charts. Can't handle that. Now we're at times ten here, and if this thing works, which it's not, We'll switch it to times 100. Now we see the needles going down a little bit. So you're somewhere about, looks like, a lot. Now we're taking a look at times 10 here. It's going up, going up, going up. Yeah, it's right around Just three. That, ooh, oh, yeah, ooh hey. Mike. Yeah. yeah, it's looking like somewhere between 3,000 and 4,000 counts per minute here. It's a lot. Well, Mike, uh, now that you're back from your bone scan, why don't you tell us a little bit about this? What was the injury they thought you might have had? Well, they thought that I had a uh, stress fracture. Well, they, they, they thought I might have a stress fracture in my lower back area on one of the um, vertebrae. I guess the little joints that connect the vertebrae, I guess what they, I forget what they're called, but they can, if they get uh, messed up, it can cause a stress fracture. And so they, he, the doctor was worried that I might have had that, and so one of the tests he wanted me to have done was a bone scan so that, we, so that I could see if I had a stress fracture. Bone scan, okay, well, what's the news? Well, I don't have a stress fracture. The bone scan came out negative, which is good. So. That's good. And now how did this work, this bone scan? Well, you rejected the something. Right, I went into the uh, hospital one in the afternoon and they injected me with technetium-99 which is a radioactive isotope, I guess. And Continuing on, so you had this injection of the uh, technetium. Right. Then what, you had to wait a little bit, right? Yeah, I had uh, two hours um, that I had to wait before they did the scan, which is where the first, uh, during that two hours, I came back in here to see Mr. Reed, and that's when we did the first part of the video, when I was all radioactive and stuff. Okay, and then, and then you went back and had the scan, right? Right, and, and I guess they scan. use a, uh, gamma ray camera, which detects the gamma rays that are given off by the technetium in my body, and they use that to scan the, the bones. Okay. And after the injection, how did you feel? Anything? Did you tell any difference? I felt fine. You felt fine. Okay. Even though you were highly radioactive. Right. And test results, we already cleared that. You're negative. We don't have the stress fracture. That's good. Now, now we're just going to test whether you're radioactive right now. Okay, so that's some that's background radiation. And that's my he's less radioactive than everything around us. <laughs> if, if anything. So there you have it. Um, thank you for taking time to uh, do this, Mike. It, it was really my pleasure interviewing you.